When I was 14, I decided to drop out of school and became super interested in fuel cells. I was fortunate enough to university to get a PhD studying fuel cell electrochemistry. And after graduating, I went to work at one of the world leading fuel cell companies in Vancouver. I knew very little coming from Canada about China. I had heard of Beijing and I had heard of Shenzhen and Shanghai. That's probably pretty much it. But then when I went to this fuel cell company, I heard the name Foshan, Foshan, Foshan. Yeah, and so Foshan became for me a very exciting city to visit because it was clearly like a major hub for the technology that I was so passionate about. Getting some opportunity to visit Foshan and, and potentially start a new business. Uh, my wife and I came to Foshan and the very first day I was here, I was just blown away with uh, how advanced that technology had become. There were fuel cell buses everywhere, more than I'd seen in my entire life. I do remember when we were driving to our hotel from the airport, seeing more fuel cell buses on that drive than I'd seen in my entire life in Canada. Shocked. It was just clear that if I want to pursue this fuel cell dream, this is the best city to be in the world. Let me introduce to you the fuel cell tram. This program from 2014 and uh, have a dual it's the seven module. Per module, uh, net output is about 100 kilowatts. Right. Yeah. It's just it's mind blowing and super, super rewarding to see that this technology is finally really being commercialized here. The most of the credit for that goes to some of the local government officials. Or they're just you know visionary in this area and they're passionate about it. And once they make a decision, they follow through with it until until there's an actual product. China is already leading for solar cells and for lithium ion batteries. And now fuel cells are like the next wave of alternative energy that's coming in to complement the alternative energy solutions that are already in place. There's a much larger GDP in China. It's a much bigger economy. And this type of investment, it requires a lot of money. And so I think that's the, one of the biggest differences is that China actually has the financial ability to put in a large investment into this technology. My son knows a little bit about what I do. He knows about fuel cells and yeah, whenever he sees the blue fuel cell buses driving by in China, he always points and says, oh, daddy bus, daddy bus. <laughs> Shortly into our stay here, my son discovered the lion dance at the temple and every day he was asking to go see the lions. We bought him his own lion costume and the drum. Whenever I came home from work, he would want me to put on the lion costume because he likes to be the drummer. A lion, cold dancing drumming, all of it, good. My, my family and I, we're super content and super happy in Foshan. It feels very nice. We felt at home. <laughs>